guys, this is June because I was born in June and today I bring in like uh, this carrot to come on live with me. So <laughs> this soft toy, the name is carrot. I really love it so much. Okay, so today is my live 68 or 69. Oh no, it's 78 or 79. I couldn't keep, keep track. Okay, so you watch the, the, the link down below, you know that which live it is. Okay, so the topic I'm going to talk about today is that this is the number one secret in my influencing communication. Whenever I want people to do some stuff for me or whenever I want my prospect to buy a certain product, this is the number one secret in influencing. Okay, when you want to influence someone to take take a certain action right it's very important that you need our job is to make them realize they need that solution all right let me repeat our job is to make sure our prospect realize themselves like automatically realize themselves that they need the solution themselves okay because if let's say you do not make it that way right it will sound like you are very hard pitching does it make sense so it's our job to ask relevant questions um to bring them to where you want them to uh, where where you want them to see like whenever we are actually jumping on the call like you have to be the one who actually take charge in the call so that you can lead them to where you are okay let me give you an example like let's say um how are we able to bring them bring your prospect to realize hey this is something that i need okay you have to ask questions about what is their current situation and then what they want to be in the future time because when 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 you ask them about right now and their future you know, there's a gap, right? So you ask them, okay, what is it in between the gap? That is a bridge, right? So let the prospect answer to you what is in between. What is the in between the obstacles or challenges they're facing that that they want to achieve the goal like 12 months time? When you ask that questions, let your prospect answer and then they are they will be actually telling you what is in their mind. And then when whenever they give the answer, it's actually exerts a certainty within their brain, say, hey. June helped me to realize that I'm actually having that problem and I kind of need this solution right now, right? So when you actually do that, this is where you're able to make your prospect realize they need the solution and that's where you come in. You say, hey, you know what? I, I know that you're having this problem that maybe you lack of guidance or you do not know where to start or you just do not know how to actually kickstart this organic traffic right away, how to attract the clients right right to you okay you know what so here's my training program that you should probably join or here's my blueprint that here's my newly launched book that is exactly helping to solve the problem because you know what if let's say you do not help your prospect to realize that they have a problem and they need a solution you don't help them to realize themselves it's very hard for you to tell them about your product does it make sense so you have to make it they are the one should be interested to know what can actually help them by realizing that they have the problem themselves so that's the first thing so that's why this bridge is very important meaning current future this bridge so it's our job to make them to realize this bridge okay this bridge there are a lot of different ways they can do it firstly just now i mentioned you can ask relevant question their current situation and the future what's the bridge secondly you can also use story to build that bridge okay the story a lot of times you may not have to story yourself it's perfectly all right you can use the story of your clients like this is a this is a way that i always use hi cody <laughs> thank you so much for watching so feel felt found so you can tell about a story of your client hey you know what um let's say your client is amy right hey you know what amy previously i have a client that before she actually before she actually uh before that she also facing problem in terms of deal closing she do not know where to kickstart in terms of attracting the right clients to her profile and then make the client to make influence decisions she told she's actually similar like just like you she's like in affiliate marketing and then some of my clients they are actually in coaching business they face the same problem they do not know where to start they try everything they try like facebook ads instagram ads they write really good article it's not working but after that i actually gave her some suggestions on how to build a better a killer profile it's just like a killer resume i give her a few tips to improve like the cover photo the profile picture and then in the end after she actually gone through the um gone through the training and also she read through my blueprint she actually makes changes like within like 24 hours and then after using the methods i'm teaching to actually engage with people she get the result within seven days so this is my actually amy's story 
of course, these results differ from person to person. We cannot guarantee results because sometimes results is very individual basis. I can teach you best thing that I have like every single day, but I really do not know whether you implement that or not. So it wouldn't be fair to, to each of us to guarantee results. So whenever I tell a story, feel, felt, found. So what my client previously feel like, also expensive, also do not know where to start. They felt that this training may, may, may be good or may not be good for them. And then in the end, they found the result is really, really good. I didn't lie at all. I didn't, I, I, because this is really the real story of your clients. So you need to use a case study. Of course, you will ask me, June, I'm just starting. How am I going to find a like, case study to talk about? Of course you can. Like, you know what? When I first started, right, I give so many free consultations to my friends, um, to my Facebook friends. It's really a free consultation where I actually take some time, take some time to go through their website. And then I tell them like which, which they should improve, like the header they should improve, the headline they should improve, like, you know, this link is broken. I take time to actually tell them that and I give them the suggestions on how to improve it. And then people appreciate my time and in exchange, I ask them for a testimonial. So that's how I do it. And that's how you can actually build up a story and testimonial for your profile that's make it easier for you to convince your, convince your clients as well. Does it make sense? Okay, so the third one. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Okay, I'm so sorry. I have to turn on the fan. It's really hot here. Yeah, I feel much better with my carrot. <laughs> okay, so the third one. This one is really cool. Um, whenever you want people to realize things, right? Okay, assuming that you are under a negotiation process, it can be. Ne it doesn't have to be a business negotiation. It can be also a negotiation between you and your son, your daughter, or your husband and everything. Okay. Uh, sometimes when we argue about stuff is because everybody has different viewpoint. Not only we have different viewpoint, hi Tida, not only we have different viewpoint, we also have different interests in certain things. Like uh, for example, um, your son or daughter, they do not want to sleep early uh, because they want to play games or because they want to like um, watch YouTube videos or just want to relax a little bit. But then you as a parent, you insist them have to sleep so that you can have your own time, right? <laughs> So everybody has a different interest. So right now, how are you able to come into your um, common, common ground that every, you, you can try to influence them? Okay, firstly, you must know everybody has their own interest and then you must admit that. Okay, secondly, sometimes in negotiation, in order to make people feel like, oh my God, you have to make people to tell you these two words, these two words. That's right, June. Okay, so let me clarify further, right? Okay, let's say right now I'm talking to a prospect. Uh, my future clients about her problem and let's assume her problem is actually getting new clients in her coaching business so i will probably go on the call with her and then i will just ask her some question um the question i'll probably ask is that uh let's say it's also amy right <laughs> i love to use amy hey amy um can i know like how long have you been into this coaching business and then what problems they're facing so amy will tell me the problems that she's facing uh so let's let's pretend i'm amy right now uh hi uh hi june i'm actually having this problem because i couldn't sign up new clients i do not know whether it's due to the pandemic but it's really difficult i try i try facebook ads it's not working i try video ads it's not working i really do not know whether i should try the ads anymore so then me as a as as June, I will actually summarize whatever I will actually summarize whatever Amy just told me, but in a different form. You cannot just summarize in the same way because it will feel like very weird. We are just repeating what I'm repeating. So when I do the summary, I will just say it in wrong, uh, say it another way. Hey Amy, so based on what you told me, so it means that you are is it you are very frustrated with Facebook ads right now, and then you do not know how to get on with a new client. Amy will say yes, that's right. Okay, when Amy say that's right, you actually, it makes your closing like, you can increase the closing rate by half because they feel like, oh my God, June, you are so smart, you know what I want. Okay, the key idea, everybody just want to be understood and then they want you to listen. They want to feel like somebody understand them. So if let's say you can be the person, understand their problem and then just summarize in a way that make them realize that you understand them, they will say that's right. Then it's so easy to close your clients. Does it make sense? Okay, I, 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 maybe next time I should actually take a case study to show you guys what I mean. But that's right. It's a key way to go. If let's say someone tell you, yes, you are right. Oh my God, this is not a good term. When I say yes, you are right, it means that um, 
how to say this? It means that they they may not agree what, what whatever you are saying. They say yes, you are right because they just want you to shut up. <laughs> like give let me give you a scenario. Let let's say um uh, it's a yeah. Let me take a relationship between a parents and a and a daughter or son, right? So let's say the parents uh keep on asking uh the son or the daughter. Maybe the son's called, name is William. Hey William, please go and sleep early. Like it's really getting late. And then if let's say it's getting late, then tomorrow you will be late to school or whatsoever. Hey William, you should actually go to sleep right now. I have been asking you so many times. Okay, then you know what what William will say. William will say, yes, you are right, you are right, I will go to sleep, right? Do you think that William is actually agreeing to the parents? No, right? So that's why, yes, you are right, is not the answer we want. We want that's right, because people feel that you understood them, and it makes your negotiation, it makes the communication, and close deal even much better, all right? I hope that you guys learned something new today. So just to inform that I've just newly launched my book. Okay, so this book is actually a blueprint teaching you how to get clients or prospect organically without any ad spend. Okay, when we say without any ad spend, um, I, don't know, I do not want you guys to think that, oh my god, this is a magic. No, there is no magic if let's say there is no action. Whenever we use the free and organic methods, it means that we are taking some, we're taking time and effort to build the relationship. But then how exactly, what steps you need to take in order to build that kind of relationship? It's actually covered in my book. Later on, I actually put my link down below. So whoever is interested, you are also going to take away three bonuses I'm giving when, whenever you get my book. I'm actually recording like three video training about how you get started about organic traffic, like how you actually attract people to come to you with their problems so that you can give your services or your product as a solution that's number one bonus so bonus number two i also give a video training on how you can actually use linkedin oh my god linkedin is such a good place to source out really good leads right so how you can actually use linkedin organically to get not only your clients and also you can actually seek for partnership i do it all the time for my businesses and it's linkedin is really a good place for b2b b2c as well so the third one I'm giving away is a storytelling strategy to make your close deal faster. I also give you like a template or format. You just need to fill in where you're able to like tell a story. Because eventually, it's not only about leads. You can get 100 leads or 1,000 leads per day, but then what if you are stuck at closing? Then it means that you're wasting your leads. That's why I, what I wanted to do is that to help you guys to fill up the gap. Meaning you have the beginning on how to attract the leads coming to you. And after that, how you actually can close them using the three strategy I'm sharing. All right? So if let's say you're interested, just go down a link down below and feel free to join my amazing group. I also just created my Instagram. Um, I'm adding content soon. So you can follow me at my Instagram, June Low Story. All right? So hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.